Charles looked emotional as he arrived at King Edward VII's hospital in London to visit his father, the Duke of Edinburgh. The Prince of Wales arrived at the back of the London hospital on Saturday afternoon, where his dad, 99, had been since Tuesday. He is expected to remain in hospital until next week. Prince Philip's eldest son, 72, was pictured wearing a face mask as he walked from his car into the hospital. Today is the Duke of Edinburgh's fifth day in the private facility in London and he had been expected to be discharged after a few days but is expected to remain in hospital for observation and rest throughout the weekend and into next week. Charles was pictured arriving at the hospital that is currently only considering visitors in exceptional circumstances due to the Covid pandemic. It is understood the prince made a hundred-mile journey from his home in Highgrove, Gloucestershire, to the hospital in central London. Prince Charles left the hospital half an hour after arriving. He is the first member of the royal family to visit Philip during the Duke's four-night stay in hospital. It is thought Charles has not seen his father since before Christmas because of the nationwide coronavirus restrictions with the Duke staying at Windsor Castle. The Duke of Edinburgh, 99, was described as being in good spirits after he walked unaided into King Edward VII Hospital on Tuesday evening on the advice of his doctor. According to the Daily Mail, a royal source said, following consultation with his doctor, he is likely to remain in hospital for observation and rest over the weekend and into next week. As we have said previously, the doctor is acting with an abundance of caution. The Duke remains in good spirits. On Wednesday, Buckingham Palace said, admitting Philip to hospital was a precautionary measure. Philip, who turns 100 on June the 10th, is in hospital for an undisclosed reason, although it is not coronavirus related, and it was a non-emergency admission. It is understood a doctor was called after Philip felt unwell for a short period and he was taken to hospital by car, where he walked in unaided. Philip has been spending the last lockdown with the Queen, 94, at Windsor Castle and last month they both received Covid vaccinations. Philip was reported last year to be unconcerned about becoming a centurion. But sources say his view has modified and he is rather reluctantly looking forward to reaching the milestone. Buckingham Palace said on Wednesday, His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh was admitted to King Edward VII Hospital in London on Tuesday evening. The Duke's admission is a precautionary measure on the advice of His Royal Highness's doctors after feeling unwell. The Duke is expected to remain in hospital for a few days of observation and rest. It is understood the decision to admit Philip was taken with an abundance of caution. Philip was last in hospital in December 2019 when he spent four nights at King Edward VII being treated for a pre-existing condition before being discharged on Christmas Eve. He retired from public duties in 2017 but made a rare public appearance at Windsor last July 2020 for the official handover of his role as Colonel-in-Chief of the Rifles to his daughter-in-law Camilla.